So to start off with, let's step out of our skins and into something scalier. So think of the ocean. Think of that sea stretching out around you and just dive straight in. Hop, step, jump straight into it. And as the water rushes over you and pours across you, it's going to rush into your ears and it's going to change the way that your ears pick up the sound waves that are vibrating against your eardrums. As the water splashes across your eyes and your face, it's going to trigger the mammalian dive reflex, which is going to make you hold your breath. Now, if your eyes are open, you'll notice that the light is no longer refracting in the same way underwater, which means that your eyes can't detect clear images anymore and everything is quite blurry. If you're holding your breath, then there's definitely no way that you are picking up any smells through your nose or that you're tasting very much. So as the sentient being that you are, what's left? We as humans are not particularly skilled creatures at detecting what is happening underwater, but you can feel the water around you. It's warmth or it's chill, it's flow across your whole body. That is the only sense that is immediately available to you, the only one that you can really trust. And one thing to think of as a human being delving into this world is that it is so fantastically different from our own. The mere act of stepping into it renders us pretty useless. So we're swimming away from all that we know and can rely on. Let's swim over to the coral reefs that are coiling along the ocean floors and that feeling of that water um, that is rushing over us is connecting us with the other creatures of this space. And I want to kind of focus in on those creatures because we are not amongst um, land living mammals anymore. There are no two legged lung using air breathers here. This is a coral reef. And more than a quarter of all known fish species that exist either live on or depend on the coral reefs. And the fish that are swimming past you have had more than 400 million years to evolve differently to us to feel more than we can feel in this ocean. They can feel a neighbor's heartbeat. Some of them can detect sounds that uh, human ears can't even perceive. And they can see beyond the range of colors that we humans can detect. They use all of these different senses to communicate with each other. So a fish, like a clownfish, could be making a sound to tell its family that food is nearby or it could be warning that there is danger and this can really be a matter of life and death. Like us, they have countless different ways of communicating with each other to convey something important. And for today, I've chosen a particular example of human acoustic communication and that's rap. Now, whatever your opinion of rap, we can probably agree that it's an effective way of communicating passion, urgency, and impact. And I don't know for sure if clownfish rap, but when a clownfish has to warn others in its family of a predator, of this impending danger, it has one shot, one opportunity. It has to seize that moment and really risk all that it has. Go. Oh, what would you do? Clock off your ape shift. Now a fish swim through. Fish are you, fish are you, swim as them. Your fins are steady. I start gills are heavy. 
There's a nasty resting in your anatomy It's growing already Sun's rising through seeping the water We're down Dawn's currents feeding coral reefs And you're the clown Your family knows you Trust built, colored and spilled Orange and white through your stripes You fight, fight to survive, survive to stay alive This way you thrive All tides come to this point You settled in this reef for safety It's to start a family I'll stay. You're an enemy. Away. But out there, underwater, a predator is hard to see, harder to hear. T sharp and wide. It only takes one moment to lose it. One opportunity to ambush, and he'll choose it. Feasting to depose this whole life you chose. This predator takes your slice out of forever. Watch his thoughts split the salt water like blood boiled, but stronger. And every single stage of the strike, an ecosystem of chances. But there's no rerun for a clownfish. Nah, life's last few seconds to ponder. When the hunter with the big hunger comes on danger zone for fresh meat You're a smaller fish, you gotta wonder if you got time enough to achieve Cooperation and communication is navigation, your social group Listen, smell and see, your soul signals and senses Makes up the living tally of energy's expenses Collect as a fish pack, you counted what life is This coral kingdom incomplete with our scales, gills and fins it's together these clowns watch and learn from one another A collective consciousness Signal sent undercover means fish, small but not silent, can remain well defended. Pride and survival won't hide it. All the ways they can feel it, can hear, smell, and see it. Bounce all the beats of their heart. The beats of their heart. Next time you're immersed and you're watching, remember this ain't no film of no Nemo. This is their real dance. This is their real show. show.